Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, let me give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wachagodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to those Le'akim that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity. Alone shit is like foreigner brothers that like the heathens. But the line of the side goes back to the nation of Israel. Which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is your brother you call a moth by the lesson. And um, today's lesson will be entitled, We Are Not Supposed to Boast of Our Works. I was going to go on some precepts and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and you few sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimon Shai. You know, uh, we are not supposed to boast of our works, you know, in the truth. You know, because when you read Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8, it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of Yahweh. Right, so having this faith, having this truth, you know, is a gift of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, man. You know, because the Lord has blessed us to have faith, you know, to believe in the in the, in the gospel. You see, it says, not of works, lest any man should boast. Right, because you have a lot of individuals in the truth that, you know, they boast on their works. You know, and that's not how we're supposed to be. You know, because at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashi Moshe has given us all uh, specific measures of faith, you know, and let's just define the word boast. <clears throat> uh, boast is from the Greek word. Strong's G 2744, Kalchalmai. Kalchalmai. Mm -hmm. It says to glory rather with reason or without, to glory on account of a thing, to glory in a thing. That's right, you know, so. And Yahweh Shah talked about when you go to uh, St. John, you know, because by you boasting yourself, that that means you're glorifying yourself, you know. And Yahweh Shah talked about that. Let me read John um, 7 and um, 18. Uh, St. John 7 18. This is our Lord Yahweh Shah speaking. I just get the uh, the other Bible app so, so it can be um, cause it's written in red. Uh, St. John 7, and verse 18. And it reads, He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. Right. So, by you speaking on yourself, that, that, would, that would mean you are boasting in your works. You know, how many videos you did, how much wisdom you have. You know, you look down on brothers that may not have a certain, you know, amount of wisdom as you have. You know, you're, uh, you know, you can't be like that, man. You know, it says, but he that seeketh his his glory that sent him, I read it again, says he that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. But he that seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true and no unrighteousness in, is in him. Right. You know, because our Lord Yahweh Shai, when he came on the scene, you know, he did many miracles and he didn't try to seek his own glory, man. He always gave glory to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. You know? You know, he was very, Alur Yahweh he was very humble. You know, so that's the same spirit we got to have in the faith. You know, and when you go to uh, Romans uh, 12 and verse uh, 3, it says, For I say, through the, though, uh, through the grace given unto me. See, this grace is given unto us, man. This grace is from the Hebrew word, Hanun, which means favor. You know, because once you have favor in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Shai, that's a gift. You see, it says to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Right. So we can't think of ourselves more higher than we ought to think, man. You know, because at the end of the day, we all sin. We all coming short of the glory of the Most High. You know, we can't even save ourselves, man. You know, we sin every day, so there's nothing to be proud about, nothing to, to boast in. 
you know, and I, uh, Apostle Paul even said, um, I have no glory to boast in myself, something like that. I just trying to find that precept after um, I finish this scripture. It says, but to think soberly, according as Yahweh have dealt to every man the measure of faith. See, so that's right. So the Lord has given every man, uh, uh, every Israelite man that's in the faith, that measure of faith. So, you know, we're not supposed to think high, highly of ourselves, man. You know? And um, I'm trying to find that scripture real quick. Uh, Apostle Paul has said, um, I have nothing to glorify in. You see, uh, nothing to glorify. Uh, let's see, uh, to glorify. Son of glory. Let's see. No, he said it in the New Testament that he has nothing to glorify in. There's a lot of scriptures on the glory. Let's see, uh, See, uh, yeah, here we go. First Corinthians nine sixteen. Call out y'all by Shimon Shai. Um, it reads, "For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of." Yeah, so that's our main purpose, man. Just to, just to preach the gospel, man. Be unprofitable servants unto Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, the Lord has called us in the faith. The Lord, when we chosen, and we have a job to do, man. You know, which is to go out and, uh, you know, teach the word and uh, prophesy the downfall of this place, America, and teach repentance to the elect of our people, you see? So we have nothing to glorify. We have nothing to glorify in this world. You know, we shouldn't boast ourselves because, you know, we're, we're dust and ashes at the end of the day. It says, for necessity is led upon me. Yeah, it was uh, to me if I preach not the gospel. Yeah, so... You know, war means death and destruction. So, you know, so Paul's Paul saying, you know, as he said, Paul, to me, if I preach not the gospel, and that same uh, message applied to us too. You know, if we don't preach the gospel, if we fall out, if we take our hand off the plow, then, hey, war unto us. You know, because this is our purpose, man. You know? So, um, let's go to Second Corinthians 4. And seven, it reads, but we have this this treasure in earth and vessels, right? So this treasure is knowledge that we have, you know, the truth. And, and the earth and vessels is our bodies, these uh, these mortal bodies, you know, that's that, that you know, that's subject to sin, you know, we, we can die, you know. So we have this treasure, this, this precious truth in these bodies, man. These mortal bodies, these corruptible bodies, it says that the excellence, that the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh, and not of us. See that the excellency, excellency of the power, may be of Yahweh, by Shemoshah, not of us, man. So all the glorification goes to the Lord and not of us, you know, because we're we're nothing but earth and vessels, dust and ashes, man. And the Lord just happened to. Uh, you know, put the spirit on us to repent when we heard our apostle Elsgrey Millstone to, to hear, believe, and go out and teach Israel. You see? So, you know, all the glory is to Yahweh Hashem Not We are not to boast in ourselves. Not enough on this last scripture. St. John 3 and 27. Uh, and this is John the Baptist speaking. It says, John answered and said, A man can receive nothing. Except it be given him from heaven. Yes, yeah, so we have been, uh, we have been given this truth. So there's no reason to boast in it. You know, like we came up with it, like we came up with it with it on our own. You know, we're not supposed to boast in the knowledge that we have. You know, we're not supposed to boast in our strength. None of that, man. Because at the end of the day, the Lord has given us all things. So, you know, um, Lola, I was edified, and uh, till next time. Shalom.